and welcome to the unpackaging of my Valentine's Day border packs. This is Elisa from Elisa Beth Photography and inside the box photography. <clears throat> Today I'm going to unpackage three different Valentine's Day's multi-use border packages. So this is the first template I'd like to show you. It is a template that has four boxes. If you were to open up the, um, the PSD file, the first thing you're going to see is that there are general inside the box guidelines. You can read those guidelines and then you can shut them off in the layers panel or delete them if you want to. There are guidelines on how to use a multi-layer package and guidelines on how to use uh, the general editing of a uh, inside the box Photoshop template. So what you see here on the right that says border options, there's a white, there's a, a purple fold, a purple eye that says white grid, and then you have your uh, red folder that says your photos here, and then a layer. Let's start from the bottom. I like the grid. I'm going to shut up the border options for now and just show you that what you have here really is one white grid with four boxes. This can be used as a standalone um, template. You do not have to put any kind of borders. But the beauty of this package is that I have now created a multiple amount of borders for you. So when you open up the borders options, you'll see if they are all open for you, um, <clears throat> a variety of different layers. I'm going to shut them all off so that I can show you each one individually because each one is a border that would go on top of this white grid. So the bottom one is a tie-dye border. Now if I were to shut off the white grid, it's just a frame that goes around it. I turn my white grid back on and I have a border that goes over the grid. Or I can use the tie-dye border with hearts. Or a red border with nothing on it. Or a red border with hearts. So essentially now, instead of just getting a one, one uh, template with one border, you now have four different borders plus your white grid that start you off with five different options. You can also, I'm going to just select the red border with hearts, you can also then go into your image and go to adjustments and you can change the colors of the borders. So I'm going to go and change, go into a hue saturation adjustment and I can change the color of my borders. You can also change the saturation and I could change the lightness and the darkness. You could do this in curves. You can do this in hue and saturation. There's many ways that you can change the colors of the borders. So that is the four box um, that is the four box template. I'm very similar. It would start off with the instructions and you have your border options. Again, you just have a white grid to use. And then inside the border options, you have one, two, three, four, five, six borders. A red peace love border. Really kind of excited about this package. A red tie dye peace love border. A black peace love border. A tie dye peace love border and just a tie-dye border without any peace or love. So in this package alone, you have one, two, three, so you have six borders plus your white grid. That gives you seven layers to start off with, and then you can always go back in to your panel and you can change the hue and saturation and change up the colors. So that is a nine box image. You do have a little bit of room on top. I left a little room on top here for writing for text, your own text if you would like to use if you don't want to use any of the text that is in any of these uh, borders. And the last package is a, <clears throat> a 12 box package. And again, if you unpackaged it, you would see the exact same thing starting off with a, uh, your guidelines, and then you have your white grid that you can use. I left you a nice amount of space at the top because this is a really great um, size that you can make maybe into Valentine's Day cards. You can add your own text, or again, this one has a lot of options. You can start off with just a red border, a red border with love, a tie-dye pink border with love, a dye pink border with hearts. And that is the unpackaging of all three Valentine's Day border packs. They're all available at my store. 
The links are inside the comments. Of Feel free to reach out and ask me any questions at Elizabeth Photography, Elizabeth Photo at gmail.com, or you can find me at my Facebook group, which is now a thriving community at Inside the Box <clears throat> on Facebook. So thanks for joining us.